Well, I'm here with Brian and Samantha Phillips, and these this is Willow Station, isn't it? It's it the is. two of you. <laughs> now, you we have had you know stuff of yours on the show before because you do some exquisite furniture out of really a bunch of limbs, basically. That's right. And yeah. one of the things that you offer that I, I just really like, Brian, is a class where they pay a fee, and you bring it at this level to the class, and then you help they help you know build it and finish it off. That's right, William. This basically uh, is the frame that we'll bring to the class. Uh, we find that uh, it takes quite a bit of time to build a whole bench. Sure. Uh, and uh, it takes several days. So I'll build the frame for them, and we'll go ahead and adorn it. Uh, we'll put the tee on and add more to it as we go. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you start working on that, and Sammy and I are going to step back for a minute and see how it's done. All right. Thank you. Now, Sammy, I see that he's gotten the back put on and he's starting to do the seat. Tell us about the process here. Well, he'll put the seat pieces on um, one at a time, and there's he. The students are instructed to nail into wherever the where wherever the piece or the yeah. is touching the frame. So it takes them a while to do that. And I'm wondering, where does the wood come from? We have a permit with the U.S. Forest Service, uh -huh. and. Um, and there's also green spaces. We also have a cultivated willow patch in, in Boring, Oregon that we nice. are working with. And so he can go up and get what he needs there, too. And those are real nice pieces. Cool. Now, Sammy, he's starting to put on the, the arm handles for the, the bench here. I'm wondering, first of all, what is the process? Is it just purely a creative process? Is there a lot of measuring? Because they're so beautifully put together. Well, it is pure creation. Really? Because nice. um, every piece of wood is going to have a different look to it, a different yeah. feel. There's different ways you can maneuver them onto the bench. It's just going to depend on the student who wants to, to see the look and feel of it. And I, I would assume on some level that it's all about, you know, what you see in that shape and how exactly. it actually speaks to you exactly. in the creation and process. That's very true. And what the way I would do it is going to be completely different the yeah. way someone else would, would, would want to do it. And I would think it would make it awfully easy. There you go, Brian. Uh, it would, you would make it a lot easier because there is really no right and wrong once the ability to hold a person up in the chair is set. Right, and that's why we have we come with the frame because it's it's your integrity of the frame is going yeah. to be excellent, and and then you can just enjoy the creative process, and it, it's very therapeutic for a number of people to go through this process, and when they get through with this bench, they are just they're just thrilled nice. with what they've done. Now, Sammy, it looks like the only thing left is the back, and I'm assuming that's kind of the same process? Is the same? Well, it's not the only thing left. It's the next step. Okay. Um, what we're doing now is putting the back on. And again, this is also individual. There's so many different ways you could put this on. Uh -huh. Brian's doing a horizontal position, but I've had a number of students try to put them up vertically oh, really? to make kind of a sun a sunbeam out of them. Well, so, yeah, I've even seen benches and stuff. He's made, there, there's kind of like a starburst back right. on them. So this is just the next process. After this, we we show how we um, actually make the structure, make the bench even more tighter with some loops and latching. Cool. Well, let's let him finish the back, and we'll be right back. So it looks like you know he's putting on the back now, and almost finished up with that. Well, he's just about done with his back, with the back, but that doesn't mean he's finished with the bench. Although it may look like it. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like it's pretty much done now. Now we add some decorations and some loops and some lashings. So that really then is where the creative process can kick in. It, not only is it creative, it's functional. Some of the lashings and even some of the loops give the stability so that you don't have any wiggle room and you can sit on it confidently, not thinking that you're going to fall through. Nice. So, what, what, what's this process? This is kneading the, the willow so that it has a little more bendability to it. So when you put it in, it's not going it to snap. It doesn't snap. And then also it will help it to be able to mold it to the way you want it to go. Okay.
So now it looks like this, you're almost done now. Well, there's still more to do after this. I know the students think that they're done at this point and they're tired, but yeah. the funnest part is yet to come. Well, I have to say too, I love the way, I mean, I've known you guys for a long time. I love the way you've added the moss touches to the benches. Well, I'd like to take credit for adding that, but that's exactly how it grew when he harvested it and he didn't take it off. So really? It, it doesn't always happen, but if he finds it that way, he leaves it on and we found a few pieces with the moss on it lately, so that's what you get. <laughs> I re Honestly, I thought it was something that you had added on <laughs> as just a, a part of the charm of the thing. That's really adorable. Okay, William, we're just about through. This is the last part. So, and, and explain what you're doing here. We know that you're kind of bending the thing to make it pliable, but what's the purpose of this last step here? This, we're going to put, we call it lashing. Okay. And what we do is we not only makes it look beautiful, but it also adds the stability to the to the bench so it doesn't wiggle when you're done. So it And this makes it really last. is the step that does take two people. It does, do. it does. And I'm going to show, Brian and I are going to show you how you do that. Good. As you notice, Brian's trimming the ends of the nails. We don't want to split the wood out, so we always make the, the ends blunt. And then once you get this side done, the last really big construction step is doing the same thing to the to other, the other side. side. Mm -hmm. And then we make sure we go back and reinforce it. So this is the finished product. It is now. All right, ladies, what do you think? <laughs> now I do see a... Um, a jug of something here. What is this for? This is a safe coat poly seal, William. It's a finish that we apply on with a brush. Um, it's non-toxic and doesn't have any volatile organic compounds. Nice. You don't need a mask to apply it. It's environmentally safe. It's a great product. I'd love to see our students people use this product. Nice. Safe coat poly seal. Because you know you can you can get literally if you take care of these, you can get years of use out of them. Yes, you they're very stable. Can. Now um, uh, if you go to the website, there's a listing of different classes you give throughout the area, right? Yes, there is, William. And also, if they can't make a class, there's a DVD, is there not? There is. There and is. that will give them like step-by-step -step And it'll even show them how they can actually build the frame. Wonderful. So it's all inclusive. Well, if this intrigues you at all and you would like to make this beautiful piece of furniture for your own garden, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Sammy, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you, Always William. a pleasure. Thanks, William.